Dear pal, welcome to another episode of ABC Useful Tip and in this video I'm excited to share with you how you can make use of a wonderful jam box function right, to increase the engagement of your students okay, to give, give your students a wonderful fun lesson starter that will engage them or increase their interest in the lesson and we call this game ID you pick alright, it actually simply means you will lead them in instructing them how to draw a certain picture that you want them to create. From a blank board with some simple shapes given to them into a special shapes like this. And next, to slowly increase the difficulty to moving shapes like this into this beautiful picture, putting the shapes together and changing the colors. Remember to stay right to the end. We'll be giving you a link that you can download the teacher's instruction page, right? That means the finished product, and also the student's copy, okay, of this activity or this game. So we'll show you step by step in this video how you can instruct the students to create the shapes that you want from here empty into the shapes that you, the shapes that the student will eventually get, right? And then we will dive right in. To be first to be notified of future useful ad tech video, please remember to click subscribe at the bottom and also click the notification bell and give us a like and uh, maybe some comments of how you can use it. Right? Then we'll dive right in. Remember at the end of the video, you will be receiving a link with the URL address. Just open a new Google Chrome, paste the address at the address page and just enter and you will come to this page where you can make a copy of your students or your own teacher's version of Eileen Lupic. After you have downloaded the student's version in your Google Drive, you can open it and get the link to assign it to your students in Google Classroom. With that, you can actually get the link directly from this share. Okay, with that file open up, okay, go open to the bottom and Click the change of the link to anybody on internet can edit this link, right? Sometimes it may appear just as viewer, so you gotta change it to editor. Copy the link and then go into your Google Classroom if you are using Google Classroom as a platform. Right? Go to Classwork, click on Create Assignment, right? And then under file at the bottom here to add file okay go to link and then just paste the link right for the student for that jam box activity i let you pick all right and the right hand side please remember to do this this is important that you click on the triangle and go down to choose make a copy for each student otherwise they can only view your original copy Right. So each student will have their own copy that they can follow your lesson with. Okay. The next will be to click on the title. Okay. Click on the title panel and then just type in your title. Simply, maybe just a lesson starter and then pick. Right. Next, was do it. Give some simple instructions like this. Follow my instructions to create beautiful pictures. Okay. For the lesson starter for fun. Right. So next one, maybe we would like to cancel out for marks. Okay, give yourself a topic, click on no topic and then choose the topic that is most appropriate for your lesson for the day and I actually have a topic for lesson start. Cool. Once you're ready, just click assign to all your students. And you appear up here in the, at the top of your stream. Now we'll show you how do you lead this game as a starter activity for your lesson. Open up your teacher's version all right, of this I need you pick. Study the pictures well, all right, knowing which picture to go first. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After a while, you can actually design the number or the order on your own. Next one, you are ready. Get the student to open up this activity in the Google Classroom, showing them the title, Lesson Starter, I need you pick. So in student's account, they open up Google, click on their classroom or they can use it on their handphone as well if they have a classroom app. When they are in the student's account, they will see also the lesson starter I lead you pick. Click on that. Right on their panel, they will see the Jamboard 
activity on the right as well. They will click on that activity. And their I lead you pick activity will open up in their Google Chrome. So you ask them to halt and listen and wait for your instruction or your lead. Record the picture, record the order, and then start click. So you can say something like first click on the square. Shift the square to the center of the board. Next, click on the large triangle. Shift it by clicking and holding on to the picture and bringing it on top of the square and letting go. Next, click on the small square and bring it up into the square, larger square towards the left top corner and letting go. Next, click on the other square at the bottom, the smaller one, and bring it up into the larger square, just beside the small square, at the top right of the large square, near to the top right, let go. Alright, next, this is the tricky one, alright, click on the rectangle at the bottom of the board, and hold and bring it up to the two square, bottom of the two square, and let it go. Right, so in this case, you need to see the the rotation sign at the top left hand corner of the rectangle. Click on that dot and turn the rectangle to be upright vertically. Okay, shift this slightly upwards to fill up the entire center of the large square. All right. So you may need to shift the larger square to the the so you need to shift the smaller square on the left towards the left so that it doesn't go behind the rectangle. Now shift the smaller square on the right towards the right and adjust the rectangle to be centralized all right last but not least all right click on the pencil icon the pen icon click on it click on the marker make sure it's black and then move to the center of the door vertically center towards left and make a dot and there you have the door knot that's it you have finished the first picture if you want the picture to be closer to the picture of yours and a bigger, bigger square, you can also instruct them to readjust the size. So you can go like, click on the select button here, the arrow, click on the large square, go to the bottom right, dot, and pull, click and pull. Alright, the square will become bigger, shift it to the top. Alright, and then click on the triangle, move it up to one side and click on the right dot bottom and increase the size to readjusting it to the top of the square. So we have a more beautiful house here. And next we'll give the instruction to the second picture that is to draw the fish. We'll go slightly further. Instruct the student to go to the top where the, the uh, TV looking picture is with the two arrows on the left and the right, click on the right to go to the next picture. Right, the instruction will be click on the largest triangle, bring it, click and hold it and bring it to the center of the board. Okay, change the color by clicking the fill color icon on the top. All right, click on it and change it to change it to pink. Next. Click on the second triangle, okay, and drag it to the back of the tri of the first triangle, exposing about eighty percent of the picture. All right, then click on the fill color icon and change it to green. Next, click on the th third triangle, shift it to the front to cover the front part of the Tri largest triangle superimposing it all right and click and change it to yellow 
the next click on the fourth triangle and shift it to the largest triangle somewhere still within the pink color that you can see okay and let it go okay and then changing the color to blue last but not least click on the white circle bring it to the center of the yellow triangle letting go and last circle gray circle okay bring it over to the center of the white circle and letting go there you got a picture all right the next thing is to ask your student to click on the answer as in the space beside the answer here click on it there will be a text box where they can double click all right to type the answer of the picture you have asked them to put together all right so if they can follow your instruction properly they should be able to get the answer fish you can also ask them to click the answer for the first picture if you want to and the last activity if you can see in the teacher's version all right it will be to put together a bird in this case or any picture that you like just to take note at this juncture when you ask them to click to the third picture there will be no shapes given right by now they should be able to click and uh, uh, create special shapes on their own for them to practice how to use Jamboard which is this icon here shapes and they can just add any shapes they want according to your instruction all right you can also put together some pictures with shapes or any drawing using pen that will allow you to bring out the topic that you are going to teach all right, as an initial idea of knowledge and to arouse their interest in your topic thank you for watching to the end of the video and you have come to the link or the URL for the students version and the teachers version of this iLeap you pick I really hope that this video will make, make good values to your lessons make good values to your lessons and increase your students interest in your lessons and engagement in less in class if you would like to be first to be notified of future videos please remember to click subscribe at the bottom please subscribe at this round button all right i'll click the other videos to watch the other tips on ad tech tutorial but look forward to seeing you again take care